it's part two of Super Sunday in the SSE Scottish Women's Cup. And after Hibernian defeating Glasgow City in the first semi-final, in the second semi, this has got its intriguing story as well as Spartans of the top flight, who have had a great run at the end of the season, but still a couple of games ago they've got themselves safe up against Motherwell, who are champions of the second tier. So as we've seen earlier with the first semi-final, show races in the red card uh, message here as the players have had the cards shown up to the photographers across that end and a good crowd in again for the second semi-final having a little look at both teams with Spartans a very young team these days the 2014 finalists in this competition Rachel Harrison is an experienced head for in goal after the departing Ethel Cummings in the summer talented young youth keeper Alana Marshall is another one who has a lot of experience the captain of the side and one or two um, youth internationals as well involved who have been away over the international break for Motherwell they are a side littered with players who have won the top flight trophy have won Scottish Cups who have caps who have came to the Motherwell journey captain by Suzanne Mulvey with 20 league goals, 25 in all competitions, but other Scotland caps, including the likes of Emma Black, Megan Burns, and Hayley Cunningham, among others. Kevin Montgomery in there was in the Spartan side that played in this final four years ago, but now in the Motherwell colours. So, alongside myself, Callum Patterson, for this second semi final is Hamilton Aki's assistant boss, Bobby Watson. Bobby, um, with a, a nervy but frantic first game, the second one here has got a lot of intrigue about it. Definitely, Callum. The, safe to say the first one wasn't a classic and what we can expect from City and the Hibs to throw up, but I think this is an incredibly intriguing tie. You've already mentioned the quality that's in the Motherwell side and for all they've been playing in the second tier, they're a side littered with top-tier talent against the Spartan side who, since the break, have uh, totally turned around their fortunes. Uh, and managed to stay unfortunately in the league at the expense of us however they are a side full of talent some exciting under 19s internationals for one I think this is going to be a very close game Motherwell in their traditional colours to get us started here in the second semi-final as we know Hibs are through to yet another Scottish Cup final but who will it be alongside them will it be Spartans or will it be the surprise perhaps to some the second tier outfit at Motherwell despite all the, the star names that have Grace the pitch in Scotland colours and the like. And the three minute mark of the game. It's into a good spot, pinballing around here. And old gear there. And that flies over from Santoya Brown, but uh, very much a decent delivery, which caused a few problems at the back. Yeah, one of the strongest parts of the game is the delivery. Uh, Alana Marshall's delivery is one of the best in the league, so Motherwell can't really afford to give away cheap free kicks and corners. I think it might be Mulvey in the middle of that, just getting something on it, but Santonio Brown couldn't keep the initial effort down. Turn only finds Marshall. Walkenshaw coming back to help out. Neat play here for Marshall. Reynolds waiting in the centre. Reynolds does get there and, oh, just slides by. It was wonderful running down that channel from Spartans. Walkland. Montgomery trying to rise, and there's Burns, and it's squirmed through. And it is one of the experienced ex-Scotland players that's given the SWPL2 champions the lead. Well, Debbie McCulloch is going to be fuming when she sees this back. Spartans had every single player back in the box. Motherwell had left three back, and they've still managed, Beg and Burns have still managed to find a little bit of space. And it may have come off Mulvey on the way in. Cunningham, in there Montgomery was looking around, keeper had to be strong and was. Yeah, great punch from Harrison there, really positive, came early. Long from Reynolds on the other side here for the run of walking shot. Looking for a bit of help, Mason there, Dolan Gioa is around, but the flag in the end goes up but that was a quick burst at the other end and a couple of moments for both teams Montgomery Mulvey coming in but too close to Harrison yeah, two brilliant phases of play first from Spartans to work it in and then from Motherwell to break the other way here we go with Santoyo Brown again Walkinshaw in the centre 
Spiral in. Oh, and it's a good chance as well. The run from walking shot. But couldn't quite get it on target. Well, it was brilliant from Harrison. Quick throw out to Santoyo Brown. Brilliant delivery. Some real threatening chances come in. Santoyo Brown again here. Walking shot. Cuts in walking shot. Looking for a tee up. And there it is the equaliser from Tegan Reynolds. And Spartans, after going behind, are back in level terms 10 minutes later. Yeah, brilliant goal from Spartans again. Another long mother will kick that they don't win. Fantastic from Walkinshaw in the 1v1. Just a little nutmeg there. And Tegan Reynolds, she's already got into that area three, four times today. And it's a really composed finish. Fantastic goal from Spartans. Welsh up there from McLaughlin. Here's Burns. Good flick through here. Oh, wow. It's off the woodwork there from Hayley Cunningham. It just was so slow motion. It felt like was it just going to come down? Not quite. Well, I thought that was in, Callum. As soon as it left her foot, I thought it was in. She's very, very unlucky there. Fantastic technique just to clip that first time over the goalkeeper. Reynolds. Santoyo Brown. Trying to work by Conde. Oh, what a flick that could have been. But in the end, it didn't quite... Workout is intended. Uh, excellent try. Comes out with Cunningham. Montgomery. Mulvey. Montgomery taken down. Uh, McDonald need to go on the floor. And the two coming together. I think that was obviously after the ball had left the parish. Yeah, both players are, are, are pretty feisty. You know, no carry from our time at Celtic and obviously McDonald from our time in the league this year. Not players that are likely to back down. Interestingly, the ref stopped things while Motherwell was still attacking. It is a Motherwell free kick. Just see a little late one. It was just late though, just off, just as with the camera was panning. But, um, but the free kick given anyhow. Final knockings of stoppage time in the, sec in the first half. And didn't really work out for anything. And that is the halftime whistle and an uh, entertaining semi final against two sides, which we thought might be quite close despite the league apart for now, anyway. But the SWPL2 champions, Motherwell, took the lead through Megan Burns in the 14th minute. But a little over 10 minutes later, it was the equaliser from Tegan Reynolds 1 1. Lovely pass there for Burns. Through the middle is Mulvey. We've just been talking about her. But crucial last ditch challenge from Alana Marshall back there. Brilliant defender from the captain. Just McMahon and Spriggs, I think, both got sucked out there. Mulvey's just trying to get her body in front. It was great defending, spotted the danger early and got in to help her two centre backs. Corner McDonald Nigo again. Montgomery at the back post. And I think she smuggled it in at the second time. She wheels away. And once again, the second tier champions have the lead in the semi final. Well, I thought if Motherwell were going to win today, they'd need to score the next goal. And they've delivered again from a set piece. I think Montgomery ends up at the back post by herself. It's not well defended. Wins the first header and is then brave going in for the second ball. You see there how, how clear Montgomery is. It's a great Montgomery save Montgomery from the goalkeeper, Jamie but she's straight in at the second ball. No Spartans players react. Game on now. Think back to the first half, how many good opportunities Spartans had. Reynolds had two chances, Walkinshaw had a chance, none of which hit the target. Yeah, they've had 12 shots in the game, only two on target. But now, can they get something on target? As players raise and falls, McDonald goes there! And it has just clipped off the top of the crossbar. Brilliant move from Spartans. Great delivery again from Santoyo Brown. McDonald manages to get herself into the box. Fantastic header back across the goalkeeper. Welsh is grateful. It's just clipped the bar as it goes over. Fantastic move. Plenty of Spartans cheers and cars on their side, but they're having to defend again here. Turn from Turner. Oh, and there is the third goal. And there is Caitlin Russell, it's the Hibs connection, former Hibs player and Katie Turner, current Hibs player on loan, and Caitlin Russell, and that is game set of the match, surely for the second tier outfit. Yeah, 
great goal again. We spoke about being able to do things. Again, they get a little great turn here from Turner. Through isn't close Double enough to deal with the second ball, phase. Ball the Brilliant ball into the back post. 16, and Mawson's, Mawson's got no idea where Russell is and she just goes in in front and it's the easiest goal. She'll probably score all year. Goal 12 in all competitions for the season for Caitlin Russell. I mentioned Bully how it, she's well thought of at Hibs. Grant Scott he likes to look at her as a player and certainly enjoyed her season at Motherwell. The seconds tick down here at Fourth Bank in this semi final. And what a final showdown we will have. Macaloni trying to get something forward and hope. More in consolation now with so little time left. There is the full time whistle. And that is a big story of the day that the SWPL2 champions, Motherwell, have done the job here. The veterans of the game, many of them on that pitch, have got another cup final to look forward to amongst some a whole host of other players and young players. A real blend in that side, and a real taste of a showpiece final up against Hibernian, who have won the Scottish Cup the last couple of years, looking for three in a row. And uh, a big story here, although not much between the bottom end of the top tier and the top end of the second tier, Motherwell have done it, Bobby. I think it's an interesting one because of the amount of quality that's in the Motherwell side. I mean, to me, they're not really a Premier League 2 side. They they have players that can, can play at Premier League 1. Having said that, Hibernian is an entirely different prospect to, any, to Spartans and it's going to be very, very interesting to see what Mother will do to try and combat the, the pace and the power that Hibs have about them. 